War in Bosnia continued, the Bosnian Serbs again shelling Sarajevo. The Bosnian capital is a city under siege, running out of food and water. In the two days since the United Nations withdrew from the airport, the city has been under almost constant bombardment. The Turkish government over the weekend that the Serbs directed their artillery at a crowded marketplace and opened fire. Four people were killed, at least 16 wounded. The Serb snipers are active and Sarajevans are running for their lives. The business of Sarajevo is survival. Its people have neither hope of escape nor thought of surrender. Cut off from the rest of Europe, the plight of the civilians in Bosnia's capital came to symbolize the suffering of a nation. As the world looked on, Bosnia teetered on the brink of annihilation. The beleaguered government in Sarajevo embarked on the most critical diplomatic mission in its nation's history. Bosnia was entering the Eurovision Song Contest. Welcome, Euro! The greatest song festival in the world. With over 300 million viewers, the biggest television show on the planet. Bosnia selected a young Sarajevan singer named Fazla. Armed with only a song, the gregarious pinup would need more than a catchy chorus to reach the Eurovision final in Ireland. Fazla's band would have to break out of a city under siege and cross hundreds of miles of enemy territory. All of this so they could compete on a television show against the very same people who were butchering their families. Sarajevo could only hope that the world would answer Fazla's call and recognize the right of Bosnia to exist. Never before in the history of pop culture would so much be owed by so many to so few. We'll now go to Sarajevo. Good evening, Sarajevo. May we have your votes, please? Hello, Sarajevo. We are hearing you. 